What's up guys, Sleepy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Hackmon. Now, you'll need, I show you how to import that in my other Cyber Gadget video, but you'll need a Cyber Gadget and such, uh, Japanese game, blah blah blah, but why I'm showing you this is because I'd like you guys to send me Hackmons, okay? Um, I would really like it if you would send me these files. I will include an email in the description that you can send it to. And then you guys can pretty much send me the Hackmons and I will use them in Wi-Fi battles and such. You know, I don't have, I've, I've been really busy, I'm moving soon, but, so I don't have all the time in the world, but if you send me these, I will put them in my game and I will use them. And if you have a cool idea for a Hackmon, it doesn't even have to be like an illegal one. It could be a legal Pokemon that you just really like. If you maybe want me to trade you something at some point when I'm not busy, then I could do that if you just make it and send it to me through this. This will also be easier if someone's like, oh, can you make me this? I'll be like, oh, you can make it yourself and then send me the file. This is basically showing you how. PK Hex, the download link will be in the description. Um, so you can look for both of those links in the description. Basically, what you do is, you open it, you do not need a main file. Main file is the actual game file, that's how you import it, which is done over here. You don't need that, you just need to hit view, or, or nothing, pretty much, because you're not even set up yet. Right here, you have this, you go to species, species is pretty self-explanatory. Let's say we want to make a, um, an electrode, okay? So we got Electrode. If you're going to give it a nickname, that would be in the second slot that says Electrode now that we clicked it. If we want to say, like, Boom, you have to click the nickname box. I don't know why. I've never tried it without clicking the nickname box. I'm just assuming you have to. The level is also very important. If you don't set it to something, it'll be 1 or 15 or something stupid by default. Uh, 100 is typically the best possible situation you got. Of course, you have the nature here. Um, it goes off the screen of what you can see, but it has all of them. <clears throat> Let's say we want a um, timid electrode, for example. Hold item. Now, these will work as long as you're not using... It has form box. I should use a Pokemon with a form. It would be a better example, wouldn't it? Um, Let's say, for example... Fulbebe has all the forms. Heart form is eternal form. They give them different names because it doesn't have an official name, but I believe that's the in-game form for it. So, um, let's say heart form. Let's keep it timid, okay? Uh, let's see. We got all these items. You could honestly give it whatever you want. It has all the gems. It has all the stuff. Uh, relic vases, rock gems, blah, 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 shiny stones. Doesn't even matter. Let's give it, like, a strange souvenir. All right, it's timid. Strange souvenir. We change the form to heart, only if it needs a form. Friendship, it doesn't really matter, but you can make it whatever you want, pretty much. Um, now, the ability, this is where Hack Bonds changes. PK Hex does not allow you to change the ability. In order to change a Pokemon's ability, you have to actually go into the hexadecimal code of the game itself, the game file itself, and change it. Because PK Hex has, like, this restriction. I don't know if they're going to go around that anytime soon. But for now, it has this restriction. It's kind of complicated. I don't expect you guys to even know where to start with that. And you can't do anything because it has to be my save file. So, um, basically, set it to anything. If, if it's on here, if it is an official ability, then just set it to the official ability. That's fine. But if it is, um, if, it, if you're making a Hackmon that you want to send me, and it's something like, like let's say, this Floet, you want to have um, uh, Magic Bounce, you would set it to whatever, and then just tell me in the email, be like, I want, I want, like, the ability should be set to Magic Bounce. Because that way I'll know that I have to go into the hexadecimal code and find it and do that. Uh, language is basically you're setting this. If you're making a legit Pokemon, you're going to have to make all of this look correct. If I'm going to trade you something, it has to be 100% correct, like, as if it could be caught, bred, whatever, in the game, in any game. Uh, basically, we can set this to whatever we want. Let's just say Korean. Uh, could be an egg if we really wanted it to. But we, we're not going to make it an egg. Uh, how about infected with Pokerus? Okay, cured of Pokerus. D. Days, I think that means. Days, I don't know. 
four days as a care. I don't. I'm not familiar with all the Poke Wrist like terminology and stuff. But basically, you could make it infected with Poke Wrist if you really wanted to. Country is where it's actually from, like the specific country, not just the region. So let's just say this one is from. I don't know. Uh, let's say it's from. Hmm. Did Djibouti. Did Djibouti. Djibouti, I think. Djibout Djibouti. It's from Djibouti. This, I leave on zero because I don't know what it does. Sub-region, I don't know if that means, like... I don't know. I really have no idea. 3DS region is the 3DS you're putting it on. That doesn't matter also. It can be put in no matter what. You could set this for, uh, like, American if you really want to. It's just this button right here is the shiny button that makes things shiny if you want if you set it to shiny and then you're like oh wait i don't want it shiny just hit re-roll this is the gender if you want to get a different gender you have to re-roll for the different gender now for baby is female only always but if we say flareon is always female what, what's going on here oh boy maybe i don't know everything uh gender is nowhere you can't even change the gender Anyway, apparently you can't change the gender. Uh, typically, you can change the gender, but you can't today. So, whatever. Um, I wonder, though, if we went to, say, Gallade, it would be male. Always. And then, let's say we make it Garbodor, it's now female. That's interesting. Anyway, that's that's that. That's the exciting part of that. Um, of course, the abilities change, so you can't trick it like that. Just tell me the ability. Make it shiny here. You go to Met. Now, if you're making legit mon, this has to all be correct. Let's say we got this Garbodor from Leaf Green. We did not, but whatever. Uh, there's a lot of Met locations. There's a lot of the random ones, such as Stranger, uh, Worlds, all the way up to 2020. In case they don't want to make a new Pokemon generation up until 2020, I don't know. Um, WCS, all this stuff is up until 2020. Worlds, Wi-Fi gift, they just have worlds in general, I guess, in case it goes over. Poke Park, they have a whole bunch of Poke Parks. I don't know if that means from the game or from the actual place. Um, of course, Trainers Court, Ranger Union, Pokemon Sunday, Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Movie up until 20. Uh, Pokemon Festa up until 20, Event 20, Fan Club, uh, Dream World, I believe that means Dream World, I'm not 100% sure, uh, Pokemon Center is a pretty general one, Pokemon Cartoon, I don't know how you receive Pokemon from a cartoon, uh, all of the Pokemon Centers that are found in Japan, uh, PBR, Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer, uh, Lovely Place, Game Event, Far Away Place, uh, my screen just went black but now it's back, Concert, Challenge Plaza Battle Tour. Some of these are pretty interesting. And if you have any idea what you think some of these might be, Zoroark 1, Zoroark 2, I don't know. Um, Sinnoh, Pokemon Dream Radar, Link Trade, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Entrolink, Distant Land, Celebi, Celebi, White Tree, Hollow. These are all Unova events. Um, I don't know why some of them have dots. It's like a clone with dots. I don't know. Um, basically, yeah, and then... It, it depends on, I believe, let's see, this is all black-white stuff. So if you set it to X and Y, yeah, you have all the XY locations here. These are all XY locations. Uh, so it depends on which one you set it to. Say you set it to Coliseum, you still have all of these. Whatever. Um, so you do Pokeball, you have all the Pokeballs down below where you can see is like Sport Ball, Timer Ball. Uh, it could be in any ball you want, but some of them... There's certain things that won't allow you to play online Wi-Fi, even with your friends. It's kind of interesting. We'll put them in a Dream Ball just for the sake of this. Met level, you can do 101. Now, I tried to do, th like, silly things like 301 plus. Not plus, obviously, but when you change it... Oh, this one's staying at 301. Maybe it'll stay there. The date is pretty interesting. Uh, let's say... We could say we met it 2099, the 31st of December. This is the Fateful Encounter button. Uh, if you met it as an egg, this will say where it hatched, and this will say when it hatched. We did not meet him as an egg, and maybe he was a Fateful Encounter. These are his stats. Now, you can't set EVs in this specifically over 
the standard amount. It has to be within the standard amount. Um, PK Hex has all these bullshit rules. Uh, I can actually... I, I haven't really tried. But I believe it is possible to set EVs to higher than the available amount as long as I do it through Hex. If you really want EVs to be higher than the actual amount, just include that in the email as well because that has limitations on here. Um, the IVs are no problem at all. You can randomize the IVs, randomize the EVs if you really want to. It's, it's no problem at all. Um, that's to make it look like a more random Pokemon, but of course we're going to make it straight 31s. And then let's... Uh, Let's see what we want this Garbodor to be. Now, it tells you the stats on the side, which is really nice. 301 HP. He is getting views. Um, you can't do things like that. It maxes out at 255, actually, but it won't even let you do that. I can probably do that. I don't know if I can actually set EVs to higher than 255 or even 252. I don't know. I really haven't messed with it. But um, let's just say we want to set attack to 252, speed to 252, and then let's say like 6... HP or let's say four HP. I don't know, like four special defense. Is that over? I would only let. Okay, yeah. So it would only be six HP anyway. Anyway, um, these are the contest stats, which are going to come in con uh, come in contest, come in handy in Hoenn. I believe they match the two fifty five. Um, they will definitely come in handy in Hoenn. So if you're planning on making a legit mon that you want to use in Hoenn for contests, then I can do that as well. These are all of the moves. You're pretty much available. You're not limited to a move set here. Uh, let's say we want to give it Wish. I don't know, like Thunderbolt. No, we maxed it to attack, didn't we? How about Tickle? Parabolic Charge? I don't know. I'm just messing around here. Attack order, whatever. Uh, these are the PPs. PP Ups. The max is three. I don't believe I can move those. Now, these are the relearned moves, the moves that they were born with. Now, these moves are very interesting, as I could set this to String Shot and go to the re move relearner, and he could relearn String Shot. Attack order, Aston Assurance. Uh, let's say uh, I go back and I'm like, yo, I want this dude to know Trump card or like something like Superpower. These are moves you can put here. Um, if you're making this to send to me to try or something, and you want me to try different move sets that aren't available, you can put relearn moves here. So say I really also want to try Tail Glow on him, but I have four moves already and one might not work out as I plan. I'll put Tail Glow in the relearn moves. He can relearn it later over the move that doesn't work out as planned, and that'll all work out. It's like it's pretty pretty simple. Um, this is the trainer ID. They have defaults for all of this if you don't load from a save. So you could pretty much set whatever you want. You can put your OT here if you want to claim uh, the Hackmon you're sending me or the original Mon as your own. I usually put Sleepy because that's like who I am, but you know, whatever. Um, the special ID, all of that, this is all trainer information, so it's really just... But this is the latest not handler, or latest OT, not the person who has it. This is like you, if you're not... You can set this to you as well. It really doesn't matter. What the thing is, is this is saying this person has it right now. And this is saying that person, like, got it, received it, you know? So uh, this will be the OT. This will be the not original trainer, but they put OT anyway. Um, in terms of the gender... Oh, wait. Aha! You just click it. I should have known. Should have known. Should have known. Anyway, yeah, you just click it to change. I had no idea, actually. I really didn't. Um, <clears throat> extra bites you do not want to mess with. That 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 does a lot of stuff you just don't want to know. Um, the markings here would be, um, if it was from Unova, it would have the Unova markings. You can't click these. You can't do anything about them. It's just showing you pretty much what it's going to have. Go to Ribbons, Medals, and you have access to all of the medals, even with pretty little pictures. Um, you go to extra ribbons, say the wishing, the world champ ribbon. You get that for being a world champion. Uh, past contest ribbons, you could be like 55, 99. Wait, what does 55 look like? Is that also max? That's pretty interesting, actually. I haven't messed with this. 99 past ribbons, past battle ribbons. You could be like 99. Make him look bon as fuck. Um, you could even give him all. All the ribbons. Uh, this usually actually glitches the game a little bit. I wouldn't mess with this too much. 
Um, I really actually wouldn't touch this at all. It can kind of really mess with things. If you give it too many of these, it'll be like, what the fuck's going on? You can't, like, do all of these because it's either rank 2, 1, or 8. I don't even know what that means. Just don't mess with that. I would really prefer, if you're going to send me something, it's probably going to freeze my game up, and I don't want to deal with that. Um, so this basically is OT memories. So, like, memories with the original trainer. Um, I wouldn't really mess with this either. This is stuff that will come up randomly. Doesn't seem to be able to remember. This is all stuff that's, like, really weird. This is the original trainer. Memories with the original trainer. Uh, no, this is not the original trainer. These are memories with the original trainer. Uh, say the affection is, like, 9999, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, be, like, headed for Victory Road with... And it's, it's pretty much just preset things. Acrobatics. The Pokemon clearly remembers it was... It felt sorry. Th whatever his name is, learned acrobatics from Sleepy. The Pokemon clearly remembers that it felt sorry. I don't know <laughs> what that even means. It really doesn't matter. This stuff really doesn't matter at all. You can mess with it if you really feel like it, but I'm never going to see it, so... Um, these are all locations that it's been. So let's say it's been to Trinidad... Into, I haven't really messed with this before, but I don't know, whatever. Um, encryption constant, that does not matter. You should hit re-roll just to have it. And then, basically, you go save as. And, uh... You will save it here. This is a PKX file, right here. It will have the name. PKX file is what I would, um, prefer. Sorry, let me show you that. PKX file, right here. There's the EKX and the bin. Just do PKX file. Uh, you send it to the email. You can just include it as an attachment in the email. It shouldn't be a problem. If it is a problem, I will cry. But it shouldn't be. You just hit save. Boom. Saved. Now, um, now I will open it. Obviously, it's not in my route. But uh, I would open it, and then I would go to my... I would have my save open. It's pretty easy to open saves. Um, you can toggle the box interface if you want to. You don't really need that, but I just like it. It's nice to have over here. Um, you can make a box. You can make a box. A box of Pokemon. Say, okay, when you're making a box, you hit set. So now he's in that box. You hit set. And you can make tons of these if you want. I don't know why you would want to. If you want to make a box file and send it to me, that's fine. If you're making a whole bunch of different ones, if you're just cloning the same one over and over, I don't want that. I don't want a box full of the same Pokemon like this. But if you're, per se, making, like, individual Pokemon, that would be great. That would be fantastic, you know? I, I would like that, okay? So that's what I would want. If you were to make a box, if you're making a whole bunch of people, give me something like that. Don't give me a whole bunch of clones, you know? Um... So basically, you you would hit no to dump it. Uh, don't worry about that. And then you just save it somewhere. Okay. And that's pretty much that. Uh, that's how you dump the box. Box data report, code generator, none of the other stuff matters. That's all you really needed. So if you do do this, and if you do send it to me, um, just send it to me in the email. Remember, include what ability you want if it's not included here. And you can also tell me if you want the stats to look different, if maybe you want 252 defense as well. I don't know. Why I don't typically make my Hackmons with um, ridiculous looking EVs. I don't. I, I don't haven't done that yet, but I'm pretty sure it is possible. So if you absolutely do like need it, like maybe say it needs 252 HP attack and defense, then sure. But like, don't go overboard. You know, don't make it like ridiculous because I still do battles with you guys, like the viewers, and I want it to be at least be like reasonable. Obviously, I use Invincible Mons a lot, but they're not invincible. There's always a way around them, and you guys have been getting better at it, so I'm proud of you guys. Anyway, that is the whole tutorial on how to do this. Do this. Do this. I-G-G-Y. All right, so I will basically see you guys later. You don't need to mess with this. You don't need to mess with this. It, you can make multiple boxes. It doesn't matter. Just do, do whatever you want. Mess with what you want. Tell me what else you might want from this stuff, and I will, I will import it and probably use it at some point. And that is the whole video. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like if this helped you. Or if you're going to send me something, just make, leave a like. It'd be really appreciated. Leave a comment telling me you sent me something. Or just 
tell me you're making something or tell me your ideas. Uh, again, all the stuff is in the description and I will see you later.